Hey everyone, it's Lonnie Flowers. I took an impromptu break from social media last week, but I'm back. And this week I want to talk to you about a concept called breadcrumbing. Breadcrumbing is when a narcissist or another toxic person give you just enough to string you along to feed their narrative and to provide for a false sense of hope all to boost their own ego. I cannot stress this enough, but breadcrumbing can happen in so many ways in or outside of a relationship. Generally speaking, if you're in a relationship with a narcissist, breadcrumbing usually happens in the devaluing stage which is just after the idealization or love bombing stage. So basically, you went from getting loaves and basketfuls of bread, representing affection and admiration, to now getting slices and breadcrumbs. Um, maybe in the beginning, you were texting back and forth paragraphs, and now maybe you're still texting paragraphs, but you'd be lucky to even get a full sentence from them, so. Okay, so outside of a relationship, like dealing with a narcissistic ex or even a prospect, breadcrumbing happens when they just wanna keep you in their pocket as a means of backup supply. And this can be anything from them texting you, just checking on you, to them randomly liking one of your old posts in the middle of the night, or maybe you don't exist 90% of the time, and then they decide every now and again to throw in a suggestive glance or a flirtatious remark. Outside of romantic relationships, breadcrumbing happens all the time. Could be from a boss who's asked you to fill in multiple times a week for several months, randomly buying you a slice of pizza in the middle of the week, or maybe a parent who always criticizes everything that you do, finally saying good job for the first time in what feels like years, or maybe a friend who always talks about themselves one day deciding to remember a small detail about your life. Breadcrumbs. Why do we allow this? Why do we tolerate this? Why do we accept this? The high hopes and expectations that were seemingly being met at the beginning of the relationship are now turned to dust. Subconsciously, we've been conditioned to believe that reciprocated love is performance-based and that we're just not doing enough, and that maybe if we did better, then they would treat us better. So we allow for this carrot to be dangled before us, or in this case, breadcrumbs, and when we finally manage to catch a crumb, we wonder, is this it? No, nothing is ever good enough for a narcissist. You, on the other hand, your essence, your being, you are enough. And you might think that wanting a bakery is asking for too much. And in that, you are wrong. I say this with full transparency. Just up until preparing for this video, I had my doubts. But I want to encourage you in the same way that I've been encouraged to understand that God has for us exceedingly, abundantly, and above all that we could ever ask or think. But we're not going to be able to get to that if we continue to chase crumbs. So with that, I leave you and God bless you.